The first tutorial that I want to do is how to connect to the UA VPN. In order to connect to the UA VPN, the first thing that you want to do is go to a website. This website is https colon slash slash webvpn dot ua dot edu and then after that what you'll put in is vpn okay so https colon slash slash webvpn dot ua dot edu slash vpn and then hit enter and then what it'll do is it'll do a, a redirect to this password box basically if you already had authenticated it would not do this extra stuff but because you haven't authenticated it puts the extra stuff in and it wants you to authenticate so what you'll put in here is your Bama uh, like when you log into my Bama the stuff that you use there then click login and it should bring you to this this page right here okay so it, it detects what kind of uh, setup you have. If you have Java installed, then it'll, it'll ask you if you want to run this uh, Java application. And so, yes, you want to run this Java application. You're going to always trust and say run. If you're using Internet Explorer, it'll try to do an Internet Explorer plugin. If you're using anything else that has Java, it'll try to use Java. So it should automatically start the installer. And just notice that it says if if for any reason the, the installer doesn't start properly, that's what this is right here. Click there. If you want to if if this doesn't run and this is not installing, which mine is, it's just taking a while, then you can click here and you can do a manual, it'll manually download it, and then you can manually install it. And it takes a while. Well, it all depends on the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet access. If it takes a while or doesn't take a while. This is sort of an older computer, so it, it may take a while. It's asking It's giving progress here in the middle. It's refreshing my icons for me. Almost done, it says. About four seconds left. Zero seconds left. All right, so after it installs, then what it does is it cranks up the VPN. And you'll notice down here, there's a little globe icon with a a dot that moves left to right and then right to left and then left to right and it says Cisco AnyConnect Secure VPN Connecting it says please wait while the VPN connection is established okay then finally it'll say uh, WebVPN connected and you've got a little uh, a little padlock down here okay all right so that's how to get it started the first time you want to use it. Okay, so let's go ahead and click off this website and let's uh, disconnect. So we'll right click and VPN disconnect. Okay, so the next time the next time you want to connect, how do you do it? Well, you can come down here to the little icon again, Cisco AnyConnect, and you will click on it, left click on it. Okay, that didn't do anything. There we go. Okay, left click on it, and it should bring up this little thing right here. Okay, we, uh, ready co to connect, webvpn.ua.edu. We're going to go ahead and click connect. And what it'll do is it'll contact WebVPN. And the first thing it does is it pops up with uh, BamaSec, which is the wrong group. Okay, the group that you want to choose uh, is going to be either VPN or Campus. VPN is kind of a testing uh, portal right now, so it may or may not work. 
uh, campus is what we're going the group we're going to going to be going to eventually so let's go ahead and connect to campus because VPN may not be there the next time you try to use it so we're going to go to use the campus group and you're going to put in your Bama credentials again so put that in and then click OK and you're connected alright so it's that simple and then of course when you're done you want to disconnect just well that'll be minimized you just click on this again and then click disconnect alright it's that simple